Welcome to Touch Technology Review. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access a Mac folder on your Windows computer. This will allow you to share files between your Mac and Windows computers over a local network. I'm using the latest version of Mac OS Ventura and Windows 11 for this demonstration. It probably goes without saying, but for this method to work, you need to make sure that both computers are on the same local network, whether they're connected by Ethernet or Wi-Fi. As long as they're connected to the same router, you should be good to go. So without any further delay, let's get started by creating a share folder on the Mac and setting up that folder to be shared on our local network. To do that, click on the Apple menu icon on the top left hand side of the screen. Click on the system settings, general, sharing and turn file sharing on by clicking on the toggle switch on the right hand side. Click on the information icon to show the sharing screen options and click on the options icon. Click on share files and folders using SMB and click on the name of the account you want to share. Click on the plus button icon under the share folders section and navigate to the folder that you would like to share with your Windows computer. You could share any of these existing folders including the documents, pictures, movies folders or any other folder on your Mac or you can click on the desktop and then click on new folder and create a dedicated share folder. So let me do that by creating a new folder called Mac, click on add and then done. For this demonstration, I'm going to get access to the computer from my main admin account, which is set to read and write. If you want to be more specific, you can create new users with password access by going into the users and groups section and adding accounts. But for this demo, let's keep it simple and just use the main login, which is already set up and ready to go. Step two, copy and paste or take note of the IP address next to the SMB information at the top of the file sharing box. In my case, it'll be SMB 192.168.13. This is the IP address of my Mac on this local network. Step three, now let's head over to the Windows computer. The first thing we want to do here is to make sure file sharing is enabled. Click on the start menu icon, click on settings, network and internet, advanced network settings, and then advanced sharing settings, and make sure network discover and file and print sharing are both turned on. Another way to access these is to go to Windows and in the search field, type in control panel, then click on Network and Internet, then Network and Sharing Center, and then click on Change Advanced Settings. Whichever way you get there, just make sure that both Network Discovery and File and Printer Sharing are turned on. Step four, now we're ready to connect the Mac. Hover over the base of the screen until the icons appear and click on the File Explorer icon. Click on this PC and you should see a list of devices and drives available on your computer and under that network locations. To add the Mac to the network locations section, simply right click on this PC and click on Map Network Drive. In the Drive drop down, you can leave it to the default that appears or choose any letter you like, preferably one that hasn't been used by another drive. So I'll use M in this case. Then in the folder field, enter the SMB file sharing information that was in the file sharing section of your Mac. There is one modification you need to make before entering into this field. On the Mac, it comes up as SMB colon forward slash forward slash. But on the Windows computer, we don't want to use the term SMB and instead of forward slashes, we need to use backslashes. So we type in backslash backslash followed by the IP address followed by backslash, then the folder name that we created on the Mac. In my case, it will be backslash backslash 192.168.1.3 backslash windows, windows being the name of the share folder that I created on the Mac. Leave the first checkbox enabled, reconnect at sign in, but don't check the next option, connect using different credentials. Click on finish and then in the next pop-up screen, type in your Mac username and password and click on remember credentials. Now, when you click on the file manager and click on this PC, you should see your new Mac folder appear under network locations. If you want to change the name of that folder, right click on it, 
click on show more options, then click on rename and call it anything you like. For example, Mac share folder, double click on the folder and you should see the files that are on your Mac now appear on your Windows computer. Now remember, this is a mapped network drive. So if you wanna drag it over to the Windows hard drive, select the file or files and copy them into your C or D drive from your network folder. So hopefully you've been able to successfully connect your Mac to your Windows computer. If at any time your connection drops out, go back and check the IP address in the file sharing section in your Mac. It's not uncommon for this number to change as you log in and log out of your computers and other devices join the network. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit me up with a like. And if you wanna see more from me, consider subscribing to the channel. See you on the next one. Bye for now.